Hallelujah! Welcome to Praise and Pray. Before I start my exhortation for today, I would like you to read with me Psalms 113. Are you ready? Praise the Lord! Praise, O servants of the Lord! Praise the name of the Lord! Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun, to the place where it sets. The name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is exalted over all the nations, His glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? The one who sits enthroned on high, who stoops down to look on the heavens and the earth, he raised the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He sits them with princes, with the princes of their people. He settles the barren woman in her home as a happy mother of children. Praise the Lord! As we meet faithfully, Every week in praise and pray, have you thought of what distinct us from other meetings? Meetings like business meetings, social meetings or association meetings. Each time we meet, we only have one constant focus point and it is Jesus our God. This is the distinguishing factor. The reason we gather here weekly is we are inviting God into the situation we are praying about and secure His working on behalf of those in need. First things first, before Paul talks about any other things regarding building up a church, in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, Paul encourages the people to pray for all the people. He underscores the importance of prayer in the total ministry of the church. He positioned prayer as essential and primary phase of various ministries. When we look back in the book of Acts, what marked the beginning of the church set forth in the New Testament? The day of Pentecost. What were the disciples doing at that time? They were together in one place as recorded in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. I choose to believe that they are gathered together like we are here today in a corporate prayer meeting. What makes me think so? Because I'm referring to a few verses before that in chapter 1 verse 14. It says that the disciples are joined together constantly in prayer along with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. This is discipline. This is the lifestyle of the disciples at that time. As Christians, prayer is the call to our relationship with God. Without prayer, it will be a lifeless, dry, and malnutrition journey of faith. When we pray, our hearts will connect with God's heart. When we pray, our spirit will be strengthened to win over sin. When we pray, God will give us anything according to His will. When we pray, the devils tremble. When we intercede for others, God will release His infinite grace and power from His storehouse into the lives of the person we are praying for. When we pray, our confidence and boldness are boosted up to do great works for God's glory. There's no doubt about the importance of prayer. Now, from this main point, what is it that Paul wants to achieve by instructing the people to place prayer as priority? He urges us to pray for everyone. And he penned down kings and all those in authority so that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. That's the ideal living place. In this part of Paul's writing, Paul is actually 
helping Timothy to align his view with God's heart. God desired to see man to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Through the willingness of his people to pray, God released grace, gave peace, and froze justice, increased harvest, and made this world a better place to live in. Therefore, Paul encouraged men everywhere to lift up holy hands in prayer without anger and disputing. To be frank, sometimes I struggle to pray for items that are not related to me. However, now I understood that without prayer, there is a missing link between God's work in heaven and our effort on earth. I keep on putting effort in learning to pray not only for myself or people I know, but for all other things. I hope my exaltation today assures you that this weekly corporate meeting that you are coming faithfully is not in vain. We are here together for something greater to happen. Amen? God bless you.